Two and a half hours later from Hopatenango and we're at Atitalan at the Cayucos boat dock where we're gonna catch a boat out to go to the hotel. So a little short boat ride and we'll be at the next place called La Fortuna. There's the dog stung with the avocado. It's so funny. He's like, you guessed. It's the famous dog on the property, grinds all the avos. Made it to the pearly gates of La Fortuna. Look at this spot. Ooh, they're in the butchy dragger. First thoughts, Tons. Place is looking a lot nicer than I even imagined it would be. Spending the next two nights over here. Hola. Hola. Like lychee jelly. That's what it is, right? Cheers, doll. Freedom in paradise. Okay, we're gonna bust a quick little room tour. Probably one of the sickest places we've ever stayed at. It's the biggest house in La Fortuna. They have five different cabanas, but this is by far the biggest one. Stairs up to the bedroom. Got this cool little seating area. Big glass windows around the whole place. So this is the only cabana that has a private pool. You can see there's another pool over there and a jacuzzi. However, this is the only one that has its own. Got the bathroom over here. All the walls are made of bottles, just glass bottles, recycled since it's an eco resort. Got the sink area. I love the bottles because it just Gives you all that natural light. Got a little safe, little bar. We're going upstairs. Show you guys the bedroom. Cool floating bed, nice little desk area. And another seating area over here. So there is like nothing else around here too. This is just all their property and it's like far away from anything else surrounding it. The only way you can get to anywhere else is by boat. Check out the tree. I'm gonna have to pin one. Seems like people come from all over the United States to stay here. Second pin from Hawaii. Great. <laughs> you guys are coming from Hawaii. Yeah, oh, from awesome. Oahu. Yeah. I've never been to Hawaii before. <laughs> but, wow, so that's a wine cellar down there? Yeah, it's a wine cellar down here. So please feel free to... Down these stairs and we're in the underground wine cellar and there's a sticker, there's a price thing here. So every bottle has a sticker on it and that way you know what the price is. Because you guys are B5, right? The yeah. yeah. So you guys have your pool as well. But here you can also use this one. We have a hot tub down here. Um, so that's like heated with the yeah. wood, right? Yeah, so it's going to be hot around 4 p.m. And since we're off grid, we have to get ready with the food. So that's why we always uh, ask the guests in advance, uh, what would they like to eat? So I'm going to send you a link with the dinner. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, so do you know? Some shots. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Just literally surrounded by jungle over here. Super cool. This is their restaurant. So as you enter La Fortuna, you got the front desk over here and the main restaurant. Tanya's befriending all the dogs. Are you making friends, Tanya? Yeah. What's the name? You get changed, Tanj. We got the drone in there. Look at this, look at this. Dang, we got the drone in the air, ready getting the shot. Working here on the rainy season, so making sure that we get the shots we need before we start having fun. Oh, 
Got a cool little bar set up over here. Don't go anywhere without the Hawaii volcanic water. It's an eco resort and it's probably hard to get good electricity out here. They have a fire heated hot tub. How you doing, Tony? Wonderful. How is it? She brought an entire rock. Is it a rock? Oh, it's a coconut, yeah? Oh, look who it is. She's got a rock. Whoa, buddy. How do you carry that thing around? It's quite impressive. She just showed up with a rock. How's the dinner they just dropped off to hunt? Like, amazing. I'm baffled. First course was like a stuffed zucchini. Now we're on like a braised beef dish, right? Mm hmm. With got butter. dessert and everything coming. Waking up at Lake Atitlan. Got this volcano. First day waking up at Lake Atitlan and there's a lot of things you can do over here like go on boat tours, jet skis, but we have such a cool place that we decided we we're just gonna hang out over here at the property because they also have a bunch of things to do. They have kayaks and sup boards. It's a blessing to see the sun coming out because it's the rainy season over here and a lot of times in the afternoon it's like pouring rain. It started to rain yesterday in the evening while we were here. But you can see, skies are blue, sun is out. I'm gonna take advantage of the sun being out and launch the drone, see if we can get a couple cool shots since like nice morning light out on the property. got done flying the drone got some incredible shots I didn't even know that there was a second giant volcano around the corner over there there's also all these local people who are like commuting by boat right now on the lake because you can't drive around anywhere over here you have to use a boat as like a car so pretty cool definitely just got a bunch of nice shots Tanya's in her suit Tanya's in her suit alert she's begging me to get the drone out of the sky so I can take her photos her hot girl summer pics <laughs> What you want, Tanya? I have a couple ideas. You got a couple ideas. <laughs> Gracias. We go eat first, huh? Yeah. What'd you order, Tan? I got a fried egg on top of a tortilla with some avocado and salsa, black I beans. I don't even know what I ordered. <laughs> it looks good, though. Over here, they give you a menu like the night before so that you can choose your food. And then they just ask you what time you want to have it served and they bring it to your room. Doesn't get much better than this. Tanya girl living her best life, cabana life. Oh, these things are sick, yo. Pull this hands up. So anytime you want to go on a tour or anything, you're going to have to have these boats come and pick you up if you want them to take you to like the little town or something if you want to go shopping. We got Instagirl Tanj over here doing her thing. Shout out to all the boyfriends out there that shoot their girlfriends photos like me. Woo! Give me the ball. Oh! Just did a shake off on me, huh? Ready? Want the ball? She wants her ball. Nice catch. Just like clockwork in the rainy season, 
it's now like a little past 11 and the clouds have all moved in the wind started blowing you can see it's totally changed since the morning time so when we booked this place we were actually only able to get one night in this big suite because there was like a cancellation and if you're planning on coming here people literally book this big one and other suites on this property like months in advance so we got lucky and put we put ourselves like on a waiting list for the big one and they sent us an email saying hey there was an open date and then we kind of planned our trip around that but we didn't want to just stay on this property for one day because it's kind of a mission to get over here and we decided to book suite number two so we could spend an extra day here and the cool thing about this place is there's five different suites and they each have their own kind of special unique features so the the next one we're going to is more of like a a jungle treehouse vibe cool that we'll be able to show you guys more than just one room over here on the property so yeah blown away by the property the hospitality is super insane the food is great staff is ultra friendly overall had a great experience the bed was super comfortable we slept like babies up there it was hard to even get out of bed but we knew that it was sunny and the sky was blue so we wanted to shoot photos and film video so yeah we're gonna check out now and head over to our the next room suite two so how was it tanya it was amazing like one of those places where you see pictures and you show up here and it's even better than you imagined it's like insane nicest place i've ever stayed for sure so we're checking into bungalow two yeah and that one over there is bungalow four she said if you pass that there's a there's like a little hiking trail to the top oh, all the dogs came for your check -in. <laughs> super cool okay welcome to So we're gonna do a quick little room tour for you guys. Got this outdoor seating area, two outdoor seating areas actually. So here's the room. Another seating area over here. They got, you can literally open up all the walls over here if you want like this. So you just take this. And there's a latch. Got the bed. Check out the outside. Super cool little setting. Outdoor bathtub. And you just feel like you're like out here showering in the jungle. Two sinks. So there's also like an upstairs seating area. We'll go up that. So here's like another couch. And you can see some of the lake, but mostly just surrounded by greenery in this one. Definitely feels just like a big tree house. Check this out though. These are coffee beans. You can see growing over here, all these little beans right here. Those are coffee beans and this is like a full on coffee plantation over here. And the coffee that you drink in the morning over here is actually made, grown and made here on site. Thank you, Tanj. You're welcome. I'm Cheers, doll. Cheers to the jungle, Guatemala. Waking up at La Fortuna, day number two. Last night was pouring rain, right? Yeah, which was actually really peaceful. I slept like a baby in the rain. What do we got here? What do you got, Tanj? Chakchuka. I have no idea what that is, Chakchuka. I got the same one I got yesterday. <laughs> We're saying bye to the bungalow, huh, Tan? Sad day to be leaving La Fortuna, but it was super fun stay. After breakfast, we had grand plans of going stand up paddling on the lake or kayaking because we didn't get to do it yesterday. We just kind of chilled on the property. And yeah, we ended up waking up and it was like 25 mile an hour wind. So we we're kind of over going on the lake, just took it easy, had a long breakfast, chilled, grabbing Tanya's monster suitcase because it's too heavy for her to carry around the things us guys gotta do to make sure our, girl, our, our girls can travel with their 10 pairs of shoes and 27 outfits. 
But I love her, so it's easy.